So welcome back to Make an Adventure, guys. Today we are gonna go on an adventure. We got the pups in the back. <laughs> They're super excited and ready to go. You can hear them whining. Just gonna see what we can get into. Warrens off park by cars via East International Airport Road. I don't think we've been on this hike before in the winter time. Yeah, it's always been summertime. Across the way there, that's Fire Island. It's pretty much the only windmills that you'll see in this area. And you got a stick, you got Steph, and you got the pups running around and playing. So we're gonna keep going on our little hike, having a nice adventure. Pups! Stephanie just found an ice cave. She just found an ice cave. Let's see. Okay, just checking out the ice cave. Rocky well, checked out the ice cave as well. Alright. <laughs> and there's the ice cave. Another big airplane. Stephanie sized hole. Right next to the pup size hole. All right, so so far a good adventure. Uh, we got to make our way back up because now we're starting to get cold. The pups are very dirty, and <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go back up to the fresh stuff and then make our way back to the car. All right, so we're back in the Jeep, and we are off. We're gonna go to Home Depot, get a couple of things for the truck, and then. Do a little bit of work today. The dogs are so dirty. Yeah, everybody gets a bath tonight. <laughs> everybody. So we're actually running pretty low on time and those pups are really dirty. So we're going to wash the pups instead and work on the truck tomorrow. So give us a quick second and it'll be tomorrow. All right, so Kimi is taking the mud flap off because we have to take the bin off because we have to redo some of the rivet nuts up top because I think we stripped some of them out. Uh, the, uh, the bolts are not going in, so we have to redo that bit. All right, so I've already unplugged the truck and hopefully we can get all this done tonight. Um, we're gonna drop it down redo some of the rivet nuts, and then we're gonna put a gasket around it. Cause I don't know if you can see, it's like sleeting wet snow right now. And we are ready to put our electrical components in, but we don't want them to get wet. So we're putting a gasket on it so that it doesn't get wet. All right, so Kimi is putting the jack under that side. He's got the little jack. This is just an ATV jack, but it works just fine. Got that jack on that side. And we're going to unscrew it and then lower it down and remove it. And it's raining, so I'm going to get the camera out of the rain until I need to film something interesting. Alright, so we've unbolted the bin, all except for a few bolts that were uh, stripped out there. See those sticking down? There and there. Um, so Kimmy's going to grind those off and then we're going to take it off and, and drill out all the rivet nuts. 
All right, nice. Yep. Woo. Now we have to get in in there under under the truck, uh, drill out all of the rivet nuts and re-rivet them, re-rivet nut them back. And it is raining. All right, so uh we broke the bit while we were drilling. So, yeah. Last hole. On the last hole, yeah. All right, so now one of the other reasons that we put the, uh, we we're taking the bin off, is we want to put a gasket on this front edge so water can't roll down the front of the truck and work its way in on top of the bin. It'll not go inside. Mm -hmm. And because it's cold, we need to heat up the aluminum plus melt some of that water. So Stephanie is going to, or probably I will probably do the torch because Stephanie is a little bit better at laying down vinyl things. Nope. Open it higher. There you go. Not enough. More, more flame. There we go. Heck. It's wet. Oh. Heck. And the reason that we're doing it like this is so that one, we can dry the metal, and two, so the adhesive sticks because it's kind of below freezing. The adhesive doesn't like to stick below freezing. Below 40, actually. It's definitely below 40. For sure. Well, it, it's not quite below freezing because it is raining. But it's like two degrees above freezing. And some of your nozzles might leak on your torches. I don't know if you can see that, but the torch is off. And that nozzle is letting gas out. So be careful. I'm going to set you guys back in the garage where it's safe and out of the rain because I would like to not ruin this camera. Alright, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time.